Okay, so if you, if you got a, I mean, I like chicken as much as the next person. I don't right. know about camping out. I don't know about camping out, especially not tonight where, you know, it, maybe if it was a summer, a 60 degree night makes it a little easier. But at least it's not easier. snowing. That's the good thing. But the snow at least sometimes keeps you warm. But you know what? We're not going to talk about snow. There's no snow in the forecast. Okay. I promise you that. Right. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there in just a second. But you'll see right now over in the Inner Harbor, we are nice and calm. A little bit of cloud cover hanging around, and that's really all we have going on on at the moment as that continues to be the case for us. We're actually going to see that we stay a bit on the dry side, at least in the Baltimore Metro. You'll see that most of the rain is actually splitting us right now. So we are being that we're, we're on the lucky side for this one in the fact that we're not going. If you have to step outside real quick to walk the dog, do anything real quick last second, you're not going to need an umbrella or a raincoat at the moment. A little further south over towards parts of Anne Arundel County, not as lucky, but you know what? It is to move on quickly. And thanks to that cloud cover that remains, we are actually going to see that temperatures hang pretty nicely. We'll, they'll hang around those 40s and even some upper 30s right around the Inner Harbor, Columbia. We'll see that we have a temperature of 38 degrees to kick off our day. Then as we go into tomorrow, you'll notice that we stay pretty mild as well and temperatures actually get back up into the 50s despite all the cloud cover thanks to that southerly flow ahead of the cold front that brings in some rain for us though. So as you'll look at Thursday's high temperature, it does get to 57 degrees and that's actually going to be later on in the evening and I'll show you why in just a few seconds. Notice here with the future cast, you'll have all of the winds moving out of the south and that's actually going to help bring in that warmer air as well as the just a little extra juice to get some of this rain and maybe even a rumble of thunder going. But you'll notice right around seven o'clock is when it starts to pick up in intensity. By the time we get towards nine o'clock, this is where the winds really start to pick up the strongest and we'll actually notice the temperatures rising. So as by the time we're going towards the overnight hours, we're actually going to be at some of our warmest. And then as that cold front sweeps through, lingering showers into Friday morning, finally clears on out. You can see about half an inch to some locally higher amounts. And then the winds will also be pretty gusty, especially as we head towards that midnight hour. You'll see right around 10 o'clock by about 35 miles per hour. So not the best day in terms of wind. Make sure to get the trash cans in early. Then looking at Friday, we are expecting to see drying conditions as well as temperatures still hanging around those 50s. And then later on the 40s for Saturday and Sunday as we look here at our seven day forecast. For Martin Luther King Jr. Day, we are expecting to see some sunshine as well as temperatures in the upper 40s, but the warmth does hang around as we continue to go into the middle of next work week as well. All right, thanks.